57. Bye, bye, bye. Let's go D5 again. Um, let's do something weird. Let's play F6. D5. Bye, bye, bye. Let's just take and play E5. Okay, he takes this way. Let's go bishop f5, e6. Just take and play like e6. Queen d6, maybe just queen d7. Or knight e7. Just castle. He can always play like queen e3. I'll just go king f7, of course. Goes rook e2 instead. Um, a g5 is definitely a move. I don't know if I like it, but you know what? Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun and go for it. Knight g6. Rook e6, I've got knight f4 with a jumbo jumbo fork. Okay, you go g3. So I have g4 here if I really want it, but it doesn't look quite right. I've got knight b4. I think I'm just going to play rook e8. Keep it really, really stable and solid here. No need for, for flash tactics. G4 was interesting, quite interesting, but I, I think this is better to keep the structure compact here. Was I an Ensign fan back in the days? No, of course. Come on. What do, do I do? I look do I look like do I look like a 12 year old girl or something? No, come on. Never a fan of Ensign. Like Lance Bass. OMG, Lance Bass. Please, no, uh, absolutely not. Um, anyway. Okay, so a6. Um, okay, I think I'm going to play bishop c7 here. Uh, <laughs> okay. I can take, obviously, but he's got queen c4. Um, uh, actually, I don't like my position so much at the moment. I'm going to shift my queen maybe to f7. Okay, so I can... I thought my idea was to play e5 here. Takes. I think I'm going to play e5. Because if takes, I take. If takes, I take, and then I fork a rue him. If he takes, I take back, and I'm threatening e4. His queen is pinned. I'm hitting both knights at the same time. Um, okay, I've got f... No, I don't have f5 here. Sorry. I don't have f5. I'm crazy. Losing my mind. Actually, knight c5 is a very good move. I completely overlooked knight c5. I think I forgot that it just protects the queen, basically. Um, and now I'm, of course, just getting hammered. Maybe the rook d8. This looks ugly, but I'm going to play it. He goes queen e4, good move. He wants to play like knight e6. But I thought here I could maybe... Wait, can I take and play f5 and e4? Probably it's not great, but I'm, I'm, I've am i got to do something here. Um, no, this is just no good. Whatever, let's just sack a pawn and pray. Play like rook c8. He's got d5 and this is just gross. Okay, let's go knight d8. I guess I'll pre move rook d8. Oh, did I have 95? Oh my gosh, I had 95. Oh my gosh, what am I even doing? What am I even doing? 95 is completely fine. <sighs> what am I doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? What? Okay, let's go bishop e5, try to trade off some bit. Let's play a game of bishops here. Problem here actually is he's got problems with this. Just throw in. I, I can even play b6 maybe. This is probably losing, but I feel like there should be some tricks lurking. And maybe knight d3 takes, takes, takes. Or knight f3. Or b6 first. I think I'll throw in check first. And then b6. Yeah, let's go b6. Takes, I take. What? What is this? Oh my gosh, I blundered knight f6. Oh my gosh. I knew it was too good to be true. What am I even doing? 
It, it just had to be too good to be true. Like, there's just no way he would just blunder like that. What am I doing? Okay, um... Yeah. There's, like, no way he would ever make that blunder. A4, three. I'm gonna try to run my king in. Although, he was hanging a pawn, which I completely missed too. Yeah, I mean, that was just so bad. So bad. That game was really, really just terrible. Terrible. Again, I've let it get back to two. One, so I'm gonna have to beat him like eight in a row. Um, play bishop e2. Play e5 here. Bishop e3. Completely ridiculous. Delicious castle. D2 and like rookie one should be fine. Not very concerned. We'll just go rookie one. If B4, just knight E4 should be fine. Up two. I have beaten Big Fish eight in a row. I haven't beaten him ten in a row, but I've beaten him eight in a row before. Um, so it's not that big of a stretch. Let's go Bishop C4. Maybe just Bishop H4. Queen b6 logical move. And King h1 is obviously completely fine. He has six. Am I worried about this bishop a6 is a big question mark? I think I'll just play king h1 and bishop a6 d3. Is bishop h6? Okay. H6 actually do. Yeah, I've got multiple captures. I just don't know which. I think I'll go for this one. Again, I'm moving way too slowly, though. This is way too slow. Um, play bishop g3, just so I have knight h4 important if he plays bishop f5. Maybe just queen f2, idea to play f5. If f5, then knight g5 should be fine. I can also take there and play knight g5, which actually makes much more sense. So I assume he's going to play f5. He does. So we'll take and go knight g5. Knight. Oh, but he's got knight f6, knight e4, which again, I'm just missing everything suddenly. Yeah, I'm just missing everything now. Too many, too many games against big fish. And now I blundered bishop b5 as well. I'm not focused. I guess I'll take though. Takes, takes. Still have Knight of Seven tricks. So he takes. I guess I take with the Knight. Oh, but he's got a four. Gross. Let's go, I guess queen b3. Oh, I blundered queen d4 also suddenly. Wait, I've got c4 maybe? Yeah, I've got c4 and d5, and now maybe I get some hope again, because I'm going to get something to e6, I think. Like, knight e6 is coming. Okay, so what? Nobody cares about rookie 2. Um, Rook on e2 is very annoying. I can play rookie 1. Bishop h4, knight e4 doesn't really make sense. It's gotta be something like... Ah, yeah, queen d1, because rook b2, I've got queen a1. But I gave him queen e3. I should have played queen b3, not queen queen there. Uh, maybe... Wait, f3 or... It's gotta be... Or, knight d4. Rook a2, rook f3, queen d2. Okay, let's just play b3. Oh, but he's got 94. I just I said 94. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's make a check. Uh, maybe fish H4. Okay, I should just keep playing. But I'm, again, way too slow down on the clock, so I'm probably going to end up in trouble again. Unless I find some magic, which, I mean, I don't see. Let's play Kmidi 1. Got Rook A2 even. I'm just playing terribly. Take. Maybe Bishop E1. Oh, I'd C5 and D6 even. Okay, but maybe I can do this now. Still got knight d8 coming. Maybe I, maybe I can swindle him here. There are tricks now. H7. I've got bishop d8. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom. Oh, but he still got rook d8. No, it's not. Wait, what? Make a queen. Check. Game over. Takes and good night. Okay, that's one of eight. Seven to go. The knight of six. Play e6. You guys are terrible. Don't use Tinder. It's uh, it's it's an app full of terrible, 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 terrible people. Don't use Tinder. Never use Tinder. Never use Tinder. Play bishop b4. Um, let's just castle. Let's just see. Oh, we're gonna play the same thing anyway. It's gonna turn into a. Uh, Don't use Tinder, it's the worst thing ever. Like, the worst thing in the entire world. Okay, um, what is this, just knight c6, I guess? If d5, I have knight a5 always to hit the bishop and win material. But I also cover b3 as well. Okay, so I've got knight a5, takes as a move, knight e7 is also a move. I think knight e7 makes a lot of sense, so let's play knight e7. Goes bishop a6, interesting move. Um, maybe just, uh, maybe just queen d7 and takes. Oh, I blundered knight e5, jeez. But I can take, take, and go queen d4. Oof, that's a terrible blunder. Takes, and queen d4. Oh, and did I blunder some trick here? Is there some nonsense? Wait, wait. No, this has to be good for me. Queen b2. Rook b1, queen a3, knight d3, queen e2. Knight c4, I take the knight. I don't see a way for him to trap this vulnerable queen, because my queen just has too many axis squares. I don't see it. I think I'm good here. Like, rook b1, I go queen a3. Queen b5, I think even just knight d5, because then I hit the bishop and I protect my knight. So I think I'm doing good. So he's deep in the tank here. He's trying to see if he can't find some idea. But I don't see anything. Also, if he plays... Okay, rook c7. So what is this point? Knight d... I don't see it. Oh, he has bishop c... No, he doesn't have bishop c1 because I take the knight. So now, I mean, now everything's kind of collapsing. Because... I don't see any good moves for white here. Unless he wants, like, rook f7, but then I still go knight f4. So this should just be winning. Knight c6. What? Oh, he wants bishop e5 or something, but so what? Queen d2. The knight f4. Okay, so he's clearly on tilt. Let's go knight e4. I just need not to blunder something stupid here. Like queen c2 looks good. Yeah, he probably will resign here, because bishop f2 and I win the knight on c6. 
His king is super open as well. Okay, I guess he won't resign. Um, I don't want to allow some nonsense here, so let's not do anything too stupid. I think I'm just going to be really, really dry here and play like... Oh, wait, no, he's threatening knight e6. He does have an actual threat here, so... Okay, so if I play knight f2, I don't see his next move. Knight e7, I just take if he takes. I've got knight g4, knight e5, I think, for example. Okay, so I have to take. He takes, I assume. And if I play knight g4, or... Let's go knight d3. If he plays knight e6, I have knight e5. If he, if he takes on g7, I take on a forks mate. Um, if he trades and I take and he tries to take, I take because at the end I have queen g6 after queen g5 check or queen f6. Um, so I think I'm winning. Okay, he takes. Let's take. Make a check and a check. And I just take Queen F6, King G8, and my Queen covers the key G5 square, and it's over. Okay, resigns. Let's go again. That's two of eight, so six more to go. Oh, let's play deep. Let's play, let's play a, a Tory. Why not play a Tory? When in doubt, let's play the Tory. Wow, okay. So he's going to go Knight H5? No, okay. Let's play E3. Play G4. I don't know if this is a good move, but let's try it. Maybe just knight e4. If knight f6, I'll take, obviously. If not, maybe knight g3, knight h5 is an idea as well. So he plays a6. Um, I guess no reason not to play c3 in complete development like this. Knight g3, maybe. Now I could play bishop. Let's get creative and just gambit. Because I'm going to go knight h5. Let's get creative here. Um, and just gambit this pawn on g4. Because I can always play knight h5. And I'm banking that I have some tricks here. Of course, he does go right for it. So knight h5, bishop f8 could be an issue. So let's um, let's keep the heat on with queen e2. Because now I still keep knight h5. Knight f6, I have e5, I thought. Um, okay, but now knight h5, and this is exactly what I was hoping for, with like some bishop e4 trickery. And now I put pressure on this diagonal c4 ideas as well. He doesn't have f4 anymore. So this knight is really good. It's dual threat. Thank you to uh, Pinar Boot for the uh, four-month resub. Thank you so much. Okay, so I can play c4. I can play g3. Uh, do I want to play c4 or do I want to play g3? g3 looks attractive. Just play g3. It looks very attractive. Although he gets f5 here, maybe. He doesn't do it, so he won't stop c4. Let's just castle. Now, I might play knight h2, knight g4 at some point. He plays c5. So let's just take. Now I can take. I can also play knight h2 here. I think I'm going to go knight h2, knight g4. Very slow, kind of slow, like deep idea, but I'm not, it might work. Although I realize King B1, he's gonna go like some B4 nonsense or something. C4, Knight C3, takes. Okay, that was stupid of me. So I guess I'm gonna go all in here and play Knight G4, maybe? Knight G4, or Queen F3 first, or takes and Queen F3. Um. Can't play king b1. Not much I've established. So if I can't play king b1, a3 doesn't make sense. Bishop b1 looks really silly, but maybe it's not so bad. Let's try bishop b1. So I always have a four or five ideas too, so. Oh, but he can just take, of course. Obviously, he can just take. Um, and now I'm just like busted probably. But let's let's try to survive. Okay, takes. Wait, but this is the wrong order, because now I can take. But he gets. There's no bishop f3 because my knight covers it. If I can get a knight to f6, I have chances. And I'm going to get a knight to f6 here, in fact. Knight f6. I mean, I can always tickle him with knight h5, knight f6 if he plays rook d8. Uh, 
As long as I've got this block here, this this hold on the center, I've got chances. Let's play F4. He does take. Okay, he goes King F8. Doesn't really concern me. I think I can still play like Bishop E4, King C2, King C3. Okay, how do I do this? Maybe A3. A5 I can take and play rook A1, rook A7 maybe. If B3 I go king C2, if takes I obviously go king C3 because my I've got this knight and this bishop with the pawns, which are very, very important. Okay, let's take and play. Uh oh, he's just got rook d8 though. Wait, do I have some? Oh, he blunders. Because now if King F8, I have knight d7. I also have bishop g6 to make it. Draw, maybe? F5 also is interesting. Um, let's just go with F5. I don't know if it's good, but I just... I want to go for go for blast off. Or lift off, I should say. Now, I have 94. 94 might be a draw. I've got check 2, though. FE6... Does FE6 work is, the, is question number 1. Check, king takes, takes. Um, let's just take. I, I don't know if this works, but it seems reasonable. Takes. He's got a take, and I have knight d7. And I think I can make a draw. I can make. I'm actually not even a draw. I'm going to play to win here. No draw. No draw. We play to win. What is this? Okay, let's go king d4. Oh, what? Oh, jeez. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> so bad. Maybe it was always a, it was probably always a draw, but still disappointing to say the least. Um what am I doing? Let's play d5. I should, uh, okay, he's going to play the same. d3. What can we do that's weird? Let's play a6. Let's do something weird. Let's take and play b5. Okay, takes. So we'll play c5. Take and play knight c6. Make a check. Oh, wait. This doesn't work. What am I thinking? Um, wait, if I play e5, d5. E5, E4, Queen E2, Castle. Let's just do it. I don't know if it works, but I want to try it. He takes. Now I can take on D2. I don't want to. I play Bishop G4. Wait, 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 wait a second. 95 castles. Just down a pawn here. Uh, bishop c3, take, take. Nah, just nothing. Now oh, let's just play chess. 95 castles will castle, he'll take. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end up down a pawn here. Oh, and I blundered this one too. Okay, now I'm just lost, because if takes, he has queen b1, which I completely forgot about with the double check. Let's go bishop g4, try to make it somewhat messy, perhaps. Um, bishop c5. I'm way down on the clock, so there's probably no chance for me to salvage this. Bishop F3, let's 
Clipish buff five. Obviously, I don't want to trade. Only only thing I've got going for me here is that I have two bishops. Literally the only thing. Um, uh, don't want to take. I guess just bishop a seven maybe. We've got rook b eight, rook b two if he takes, so it's something. Plays d six, which is a little bit strange. I'll just take and take. Oh, oh, wait, no, I've got clean h6, never mind. It's still okay. No, no, no. Let's go a5, I have bishop c5 always. I think I've got rookie eight, rookie two coming. Yeah. Let's see two. I mean, this has to be losing somehow. But still play on, why not? Let's see, um, Rookie Two does nothing. Bishop C five does nothing. I can no, but. Play f5, just try to do something. Oh, and somehow I'm down 30 seconds, which I just noticed now, so. Yeah. No, I mean, just too slow, too slow, way too slow, way too slow. All right, last, last four max, probably less than four. Uh, too slow, too slow, talking too much. E5. Stick with a pawn. Guess I'll just castle. If takes, I'll just take. Maybe just rookie one here, support the pawn, play for h3 at some point. Am I gonna play Ferugia later? Maybe. I mean, this is, I played a lot of games against Big Fish, like a lot of games. Okay, this Bishop h6. It's actually a very good move, I think. Um, a 92. If Bishop G4, I think just work up one. Oh, but I just wondered why. Uh, Bishop G4. Okay, he doesn't see it, which is unfortunate, but very fortunate that he doesn't see it, but I'm still probably in bad shape. Whatever, let's just play H3, take. I'm not too worried about this pawn on B5. Um, so I was a G4, G5 coming. How many would it take to get him below 3,000? I have to beat him about six times. It's plus six, so I have to beat him 10 in a row. So that's never going to happen. Um, so yeah, so that's not a realistic target. Then probably, I don't even know what a realistic target is. 3,150, 3,200. I can't think of any other targets beyond any targets that make any sense after uh, the Knight C3. That any targets that make sense after 3,150. That's a bad move, so I have Rook A4 here. Uh, maybe I've got like Rook H4. I've also got Knight D5, of course. Um, that doesn't really look very strong. Yeah, I guess I'll just scoop with my king. Queen E6. 
Is my washing machine that's making noise? I think it is. Um, okay. So, this is six maybe. Thirty-two. I'm definitely gonna play for ninety-four. Maybe G four next move. Okay, so I can play G four here. I can also play knight. No, ninety-four, queen e five, knight f six is playable. G four makes more sense. Okay, let's just go G four. Maybe it doesn't work, but I. You no know, reason not to play. Oh, yeah. It's very deep in the tank here, so. Okay, let's go 94. It takes. Uh, we've got multiple captures. I did. No, I can't. Make sure there's no trick. No, there's no trick. Okay. I don't think there's a trick. Okay. Maybe just before. Try to take the open file here. Queen d4. It's d4. Rook c3. Okay. Really playing bad chess now. Okay. Point page 4. But I gave him b5 too. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? What am I doing? I really don't want to trade queens if I can help it. Okay, but now we're Ah, oh, shoot, this guy keeps finding these stupid tricks. game very tough game very tough game 2010 play more of the same let's, been, let's be a little bit more solid again start losing some games when i've been too too shaky so we should be six playing a little bit too adventurous because we should be five akiba and gula says i lose track of all my all my names also amazing hikaru lose track of all my names what i'm confused Queen b6. Oh, he's got... No, he's got queen a3. Okay, rook up e8. I'm definitely playing for e5 here. I'm also playing for takes and bishop d4. Is bishop d2? Okay, he seems really in love with this uh, this bishop d2, bishop a5 idea. I don't really understand why. But Fedosev seems to love this, like, this weird bishop f4, bishop d2 maneuver. Which basically just loses the tempo for no good reason. I don't really understand why he likes it, but this is just a free pawn, I think. With e3, I can just go like bishop g7, and I'm just up a clean pawn. So, yeah, I'll just go back. Okay, goes bishop e2. Let's just play e6, close down the center here. I think knight f6, knight d5 seems fine. Let's 
Clean IT7. I think I hear my machine going off. So I might have to stop in a second for a little bit. Clean IP5. I think I hear my dryer going off. Okay, I can also play like... I've really misplayed this somehow. I've gotten all my pieces on squares I don't belong on. Queen IT4, I guess. It's gonna go what? Bishop C4? Ah, but then I go Rook D8, and Rooks have to come off, and then I relieve some of the deep pressure. And I just go Rook D8, relieve some of the pressure, and now this Knight on D4 is nice. I'm just gonna be up a pawn, or not. Yeah, I'm gonna be up a pawn. You just go Rook D8, Queen D8, and it's all good. I can play b5 maybe. I don't have to play b5. Let's just play b5. I don't see any good reason not to play it in like queen b6. b4, a4, c5, uh, queen e7, which I don't see what queen e7 does, so let's just keep moving along. c5 with bishop f8 looks good. Uh, free piece, my friend. Thank you very much. Nice discovery. Pick up the pawns. Pick it all up. Stand the guys is what I what I feel is the card should prepare for the tournament instead of playing online chess against weaker pre, weaker opposition. Um, normally I would agree, but I would say that uh, oh and look, and I just blunder immediately like a complete idiot. What am I doing? As soon as I read that stupid comment, I blunder right away. Unreal. Okay, let's go. Not to be crazy careful too, which is absurd. Okay, let's go queen c7. I could have just taken the knight and I was just, just winning. Or the bishop on c3 and it's just winning. Instead I blundered with this. Because it plays rook a8, which is good because I think the queen b7. Okay, so somehow I have to try to create counterplay. It's annoyingly, crazily hard to play. Um, so let's go queen c7. I think I'm just gonna go c4 and hope for the best. Wait, okay. Queen c6. Okay, if he plays rook d8, I think I can go queen c5. That's one move. c3, bishop b4 doesn't look right. Um, king g7 is also playable. I don't like it. Let's just go queen c5. Keep it as simple as simple as can be. Okay, bishop d2. Now I go king g7, I think. Bishop c3, just f6. Or e, let's go e5. I'm gonna play like, oh, he's got rook d5. Unbelievable. Let's go queen a3. Should be winning still. King g4, I've got h5. Queen c5, I've got queen c6, queen c8. And now I hit the bishop and I hit the rook. Takes. I also had h5, which is winning, but this is good enough. Knight of three. Play a three c four, I guess. So let's go knight h four. Try to get rid of this bishop first. Uh, attack. Huh. Somehow black's not just lost here. Incredible.
Oh, I just blundered G6. Oh my god. Ridiculous. <sighs> 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 move is Rook C1. Let's do this. This probably just doesn't work, but let's try. Ah, oh, just... no! Wait, rook h seven. I can take. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's, there's some other nonsense in this position that he has. He takes. Do I really not have anything here? Try something. I mean, okay, whatever. This is stupid. All right. I'm going to play three more. I'm going to stop. That's going to be my plan. Three more and then just stop. Because that game was ridiculous. I was completely winning and just blundered. So had quite enough now. Let's play Bishop C5. It's castle. Go knight D7. Take. I guess Queen E7 is fine. Mm, play F6, I can go Knight C5, Knight E6 also. Um, I would guess Knight B6, I don't know. Okay, let's go Knight C5. Idea Knight E6 also. Um, Go queen f7. I'm probably I'll just play b6 with like bishop a6, knight e6 at some point, maybe a5 even. Um, I gotta be careful here. I guess I'll just play h6 instead. Now, if e5, there's always f5, and I don't have to worry about knight g5. I don't know what queen e3 does. Let's just play a5. I guess he wants. Knight e4, bishop b7. Knight f5 is king h7. Okay, queens. Queen g3, rook c8. Okay, f4. I can play b5 here. No, let's play b5. Just b5, b4. Try to take advantage of this knight being on a bad square. So b4. I think he has to go knight b1. Okay, he goes knight f5. King h7. Maybe g6 also is playable, but but now the thing is, uh, I'm going to take the pawn, and he's going to lose the knight on uh, on f5. So this is just completely winning. Knight e3. I can play knight e4. Everything is just really good here. Let's just not be super slow and fumble this. Let's just go knight e4. Let's go c5. Activate the bishop. I think c4 and bishop c5 looks pretty strong here as well. I think he might just resign here because this is pretty terrible for, for white. Just go bishop c5. Okay, I have bishop d5, even just rook d8 looks quite straightforward.
Okay. Okay, two more. Two more and then we are gonna take a short break, I think. Um, let's go to 85. That was not very good. Okay. Right, one more, you guys. Thank you to uh, Nick5612 for the uh, for the four month resub. Thank you so much. When you guys talk about prep, generally I would agree, but Fedo Save is a very strong chess player. Um, you know, if it's like, if I was playing 50 games against Arm Composer, for example, I think that would be a very bad idea. Uh, Arm Composer or Chess Mood, what Robert Chess Mood, whatever his, his username is. Um, but, uh, Okay, let's play d5, c6, bishop f6. I don't know what a5 really does exactly. I just go to like knight c7. Gonna win a pawn now. Just keeps getting better and better. But yeah, like if, if this was fruit is this Ferugia or Big Fish, they're in a much different category than um they're in a much much different category than like most of these other guys. So I think playing against them is actually a good thing. If I played 50 games just like against any old 2800. That would be a very bad idea. But these these guys are legit chess players. These are not like these guys aren't clown pushers. Let's put it that way. Um, I'll play knight c7 here. Play knight e6 maybe. I can play. I don't like bishop e6. I, actually, somehow I've made this a little bit tricky on myself. I guess I'll go d4 and just knight e6, knight c5. Hmm, how do I get rid of... Let's play bishop b7. Maybe just a6 to prevent any a6 nonsense. Play... Oh. Um, I guess I'll play knight. Oh, he's got queen a3 or something? Oh no, then I have knight e4. Um... Okay, knight d3, rookie 7. No, let's go knight e4. Yeah, these guys are not clown pushers. It goes without saying. Um, okay, now I think I will just take and play bishop f5. Try to put pressure on the knight. Now he's going to have to play b4, and then after bishop f6, I should be doing well. Maybe just... I mean, oh, wait, that hangs a pawn. Whoops. Well, who cares? Just bishop f6. Just try to simplify the position into something with two active bishops rather than hang on to an extra pawn. Rook c8 is fine. And I think I just saw some lightning actually out of the corner of my eye, so... Actually... I could have just taken. Let's go, I guess, rook d8. And what, clown pushing is disrespectful for actual clowns. That's a good one. Okay, let's trade and go rook c7. He's gonna have to play b4 and sort of like box in his own, own rook on b6 here. So now I'm gonna try to remaneuver maybe d3, d2 ideas. I really would like to go like, um, play bishop f6. Uh, thank you to Chespe for the 100 bits, thank you so much. Is that supposed to be a hundred bits thunder for the, like is that a clown face? Let's go h5. Let's just g6 solidify everything. D5 is never really a threat because I can always take.
Okay, now I think I'm going to play rook e8 here. Try to start activating. Now I'll go bishop d8 and rook... Um, actually, let's just go rook d7. Support the pawn first and hit the bishop. Let's take and d3 now. It's important not to let him get a knight to c5. If he gets a knight to c5, then I'm in deep trouble. So he resigns. So at long last, we have finally reached the end of this incredibly long match. Um, it's what, 20, 24 to 11? So a um, lot, uh, lot of games, you guys. But anyway, a lot of games. So we're going to take a short break right now. And um, take a short break. I have to go, I think, put some laundry in the dryer. And, um, and, then, uh, and then I'll be back. And probably I'll play Ferruja or somebody else. But we'll be back in a couple of minutes. So until, like, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. And all right, you guys, we are back.